Okay, so in this problem we're told the intensity of an earthquake wave passing through the earth is measured to be 3 times 10 to the 6 joules per meter squared times seconds at a distance of 48 kilometers from the source. A, what was its intensity when it passed a point only 1 kilometer from the source? And B, at what rate did the energy pass through an area of 2 meters squared at 1 kilometer? So we have this earthquake here and we know the epicenter we can imagine to be right here in the center. And we know it's going to go out in a circle, right, and travel outwards in all directions. And we're told 48 kilometers from the epicenter is uh, the intensity is three times ten to the three times ten to the six joules uh, per meter squared times second. Uh, and so we know that. And what we're trying to do is find the intensity at one kilometer out. And so how are we going to use the information they give us to find the intensity of the wave when it's only one kilometer out? So the way we're going to do it is by using this formula, which basically relates intensity and radius. So you need to know that the intensity uh, times the radius at one point, so I'm just denoting it with one to represent one, uh, point one, and then equals I2 times R2 squared. So the one and two just represent points one and two. So we could divine, or define point one to be at the one kilometer mark and point two to be at the 48 kilometer mark. And we know that these have to be equal. And so notice, uh, if we set this to be point one and this to be point two, R1 right, would be the radius at point one, which is one kilometer. I2 would be the intensity, three times 10 to the six. Uh, and the radius would be the radius at point two, 48 kilometers. And you'll notice the only thing we're missing is I1, so we can go ahead and solve for it, which is what they want, right? The intensity at point one, which is one kilometer out. So it's just going to be equal to I2 multiplied by R2 over R1 squared, right? All I'm doing is dividing this term to the other side, uh, and then I just factored out the two uh, to be above both of them. And so, yeah, now at this point, it's really just a matter of plugging it in. Uh, so we have three times 10 to the six. Uh, and then the units of the R2, we can just leave in kilometers here. Uh, because they're going to cancel out since we're dividing. So it's 48 at R2 and then just 1 at R1. And so we square this value. So you basically have 48 squared times 3 times 10 to the 6. You will get a super big value, 69120000000. Keep in mind the units of this. So we have this right here. But keep in mind what joules per second are. You can just rewrite this as watts, uh, watts per meter squared. So you can write it either way. Just because joules per second, right? We know what a watt is. A watt is one joule per second, so I just rewrite it with watt. They write it in this way, which is kind of weird, but uh, I guess this is how they choose to do it. So rewriting this value, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 6.91 times 10 to the 9, and then I'm just going to use watts per meter squared. Uh, but yeah, so this is going to go ahead and be your answer to A. So this was the intensity at point one, which is uh, one kilometer out. So we know our answer to A right there. Uh, now let's go ahead and move on to B. So uh, for B, what are they asking us to find? So they're asking us to find at what rate did the energy pass through an area at one kilometer? So that's what they're wanting us to solve for here. So for this, you need to know the formula uh, for the rate of energy right, generated by a wave or earthquake, in, like in this scenario, is P represents the rate of energy is equal to the intensity multiplied by the area. So if we know the intensity at this point and we know the area, it's going to be, right, they say passing through whatever area, so what the area passes through, uh, we can just get the rate. So we know the intensity, they're saying at one kilometer, which is what we just solved for. So uh, we know the intensity here is 6.91 times 10 to the 9. Uh, and then the area, they tell us, is 2 meters squared. So we would just do that. So 6.91 times 10 to the 9 times 2. So if you go ahead and do this, what you'll find is you'll get 1.38 times 3.82 times 10 to the 10. So you can round it to 1.4 or however you want to round it. Keep in mind the units, uh, this was in watts per meter squared. This was in meters squared, so it's just in watts. So that's all they're basically looking for. And so 
it's basically power, right? The power generated is the same as the rate of energy because that's what power is. Power is joules per second. So when they say uh, the rate of energy, they're really just talking about the power. So we can just denote it with P. So 1.4 times 10 to the 10 watts. Uh, you can round it however, or you can round it however you'd like. Uh, yeah, just make sure you do it how your teacher wants you to. But yeah, so B, the rate of energy or the power, 1.4 times 10 to the 10 watts. Your answer to A was 6.91 times 10 to the 9 uh, watts per meter squared, or you can say it this way. I believe you say it joules uh, per meter squared times seconds. Um, but yeah, so just a quick rundown of what we did. Uh, we basically use this formula where you relate the intensity and the radius of a wave uh, at two points, and then we just basically solve for at one point, and then plugged in the values uh, to actually solve for it. And obviously the units didn't matter here because they canceled. Then it was just a matter of plugging in and solving. And then for this one, it was just power equals intensity times uh, area. And they give us the area and we solve for the intensity in the last problem, right? Because they want it at one kilometer out. Uh, but yeah, so uh, these are going to be your answers. 1.4 times 10 to the 10 watts and 6.91 times 10 to the 9 watts per meter squared. So this is A, this is B. And yeah, hopefully you found this video useful.